they don't, I'm literally gonna cry. Card not accepted. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm so scared. The thing that's so confused about here is how do I cross? Night work was honestly fun. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Did you guys miss me? Sorry I took a one week break. But I did get for you guys a heads up. This video is going to be about me traveling solo. Oh my god. But before we get into the video, I would like to introduce the sponsor of today's video. Book of the Month! Yeah! Because you guys know how I've been recently getting back into reading, so I'm super, super happy that I'm able to work with them. Book of the Month's mission is to help readers discover new books they love and to also promote the work of emerging authors, which allows them to offer books that I would personally not have found otherwise. So the reason why I really like Book of the Month is because I like discovering new books. Like, honestly, there's no specific genre that I like to read. If I see, like, good reviews of a book, I'm gonna be like, Oh, I want to read that. <laughs> You know, they also recently launched like curated audiobooks in addition to their hardcovers, which basically you guys can choose, download, and listen right in the app. You can either get a hardcover or an audiobook each month. So, getting into which books I picked This Spells Love by Kate Robb. I've never dated before and I like to read romance oh. books. It's basically, like this young woman tries to heal from a heartbreak and then afterwards she wakes up in an alternate reality, which is super interesting. And I'm like, oh. The Last Love Note by Emma Gray. The main character just lost her husband, showing how like she's processing grief. So hence, I highly recommend you guys to check out Book of the Month, where you guys should go visit their website, bookofthemonth.com, to pick out a book and join BOTM. And just for a limited time, you guys can join and get your first book for only $5 with the code for you. I just want to say thank you, Book of the Month, for sponsoring this portion of the video. Anyways, let's get back with the video. I really thought I was prepared for this entire thing. I was like, yeah, it's gonna be fine. It's just on my bucket list. Yeah. It's on my bucket list for a reason. Like, the, the hell? And this was something that was on my bucket list for 2023. I wanted to do it for my birthday month. I am back. <laughs> anyway, let's get started with the vlog. We just passed security. I'm trying to find my gate. I think my gate is 23. Oh yeah, my check bag was five pounds over. I was like, oh my god, how much is like five pounds over? They were like, I'm like, oh my god. So I was like sorting out my bags near the front door. So embarrassing. They came out to like 46 pounds. Before I go on that flight, they were saying that they would take some of the carry-ons. You know what the fuck that meant. And I was like, okay, great. Because you know when you bring a carry-on on the plane, you have to like put it on the top, right? And I was like, okay, I don't want to deal with that. Great, take it. Basically, my flight is Boston to San Francisco, and then San Francisco to Taipei. I thought they were going to give it back to me in San Francisco, aka right now. But no. I'll be picking it up with my check bag at Taipei. I have my makeup in there. I was thinking about doing my makeup, throwing this label, layover. But to be honest, maybe this is for the best. Because this is a 14-hour flight. I feel like I might fall asleep, and I don't like falling asleep with my makeup on. Okay, I think I just went through customs and now I need to pick up my luggage and I think I see her. She's right there, do you see her? Wow. Now we have one more, it's my big one. Okay, I got both of my luggages, my carry-on and my thing, yeah. Next is we need to exchange currency. I wanna exchange them at the airport and then we're gonna leave. Okay, I don't know if this is an ATM, but it says currency exchange, so I hope that this works. Uh, uh, what do I press? Exchange T, exchange for. Okay. Please take, please take my card. I swear to God, I'm literally gonna cry. Card not accepted. Oh my God, what do I do? I'm literally so scared right now. I didn't bring any cash. I bought $40. What if I can't get cash? And what if they don't accept my fucking credit card? Okay, I'm currently at the ATM. I really hope that I take my card. If they don't, I'm literally gonna cry. Please just take my card. Oh my god, wait, I think they took it. Oh, I was literally about to cry. Okay, wait, wait, I think English. Oh my god, I was about to literally fucking cry. Wait. Wait, what is this? 
I just got a piece of paper. What? Oh, wait, I don't get cash from this? Oh, wait, I'm so confused. I got the cash. Oh my god, I was literally about to cry. I guess I had to press like cash advance. I'm in the elevator. I just checked in. <gasps> Whoa, it's so nice in here. Hold on, let's bring our luggage in first and I'll show you around. Okay, let's do a little tour. Oh wow, it's really nice. I like how the bed is like low. And they have a little seat right here. Oh my god, that's so cute. Whoa, this is actually a nice view. Whoa, that's crazy. There's so much stuff here. Oh my god, that's beautiful. What the hell? They have all these like boxes of stuff. Oh my god, they have a razor. Shut up, I literally don't even have to go out today. They have a razor. Lay out my luggage first because that keeps me more sane. Whoa, okay, that's crazy. I okay, bought you so you can work with me here. I need to get familiar with the coins. Okay, so I guess this is 10 NTD. They're so new though. Literally, look at this money. Sorry I'm geeking out for stupid shit. They're shiny. Oh my god. Skincare stuff. Literally, I need to get going, bro. Like, this is not okay. Alright, oh, guys, I found a Family Mart. I hope Family Mart has shampoo and stuff. So much going on. I'm not taking in anything. I'm like swimming. Oh, there's so much stuff here. I see body wash and I see shampoo. Um, you men, you might see fat, Jima. I only saw that. I need conditioner as well. They only have like a few. They have this volume shampoo. Oh, they have a lot of water. I don't know which one to get. I just came back. Before I left, I asked them like where the, the slippers are and they told me that they're in the, the closet. Oh my god, they're right here. Oh my god, that's crazy. I knew it. I was like, there's no way they wouldn't give me slippers. I don't know anyone. I'm not in a comfortable space right now. I was like, let's just buy some shampoo. Never heard of this. I bought water because I need water. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. You guys are the only thing keeping me sane right now because like just talking to like the, a camera right now makes me feel so much better. I just didn't really think much. Okay, we're just gonna go to Taiwan. It's gonna be great. Like it didn't kick in like I'm actually gonna be in Taiwan. You saw me at the airport. Like I was just like doing this, doing this. I didn't have much of a reaction. It wasn't like that I wasn't awake. It was just like, I didn't really feel like this is real. Until we were one hour away from arriving at Taiwan. That's when I was like, oh shit. When we got there, everything just, anxiety starts pouring in. And everyone here is like so well dressed. I mean, maybe it's because I'm not dressed up today. I'm not appreciating, I'm not taking it in because I'm just so scared. I just feel so anxious. I don't know where I am. Like I just need to get water and get everything leave. This is a challenge for me. Literally, like before I even came, I'm like, this is gonna be easy, this is fine. This was on my bucket list for a reason. Mm. <laughs> I don't know how this vlog's gonna end. Like, should we end? End it on this because I feel like that's such a bad ending. Oh, I'm so scared. I forgot to mention that I didn't sleep for two whole days. First actual day in Taiwan. The last footage of me recorded was that I was anxious as hell. Oh my god, my fucking eye. What's in my eye? Oh my god, this always happens. Up, down, on the road. I've been around the floor. Rooftop, sliding doors. Just wanna know you. You wanna be a somebody Spending all of the night moonwalking And with the view she can We actually got a seat I got salty soy milk And I got a cold soy milk I've never had salty soy milk before Guys, I just got my high speed rail tickets Kinda hot. Maybe I should search up some like popular cafe shops around here. It's an underground mall. That's crazy. Hold on, let's let's go check it out. I want to see it. department store and it just has like a lot of stuff a lot of brands everywhere these are kind of cute
so quiet. <laughs> so nice. These malls are huge and they're beautiful. Apparently this mall, there's like five floors. Oh my god, there's so much makeup. So cute. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. It's crazy. The thing that I'm so confused about here is how do I cross? Like how do I get from here to there? Oh wait, I'm supposed to get on that bridge. There's a bridge, you see? No wonder everyone's getting on it. We have to get on the staircase and get on there. It's really cool how they like connect a lot of like these stations with malls. Contemporary art museum building. I think they only have one exhibition right now. They told me that's like a tiny exhibition. Exhibition? Okay, I just went into the exhibition and it was like free. It was like this one and it was like in a dark room. I like going to museums. I saw my first dog just now. I got myself this jasmine honey tea. Tea egg. People here also are really nice, especially when, when I asked for directions. And I was like, where do you think I could shop? And they told me to come here. Oh, this is cute. Okay, now we need to cross. And actually, I called my first fucking Uber. I didn't know you can use Uber here, but you can. It's so nice here. My Uber driver told me how like, this is mainly like food places. It's not like shopping, so yeah. Hi guys, I am back. Oh my god, I think I might have gotten blisters. I do just think that at the end, no matter like how comfortable a pair of flats are, you can't compare with sneakers at the end, okay? I bought a few items from both the 7-Eleven and also a department shop. Next, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna be using this. I'm gonna put this on the bottom of my shoe because... Oh my god, I got a blister. How am I gonna walk? Should I just stay in tomorrow then? Ooh, they tighten up. They tighten up. This is not good. Oh my god, it sucks. And I literally need to find myself a different necklace because this one's literally giving me an allergic reaction. Okay, these days I realize my memory is so shit. So let me see what we did. We woke up, we went to get breakfast, which was so fucking good. And then we walked around. Then I went to like a coffee shop. Well, I, you can watch the vlog. You'll probably know it better than I do. And we went to like this first department store, which I bought like that first dress. I walked around a lot. I went to a museum. And then I went to like the Zhongshan district. I think that's the shopping district. It's very city like and then we went to the night market night market was honestly fun We'll see how I am tomorrow. I have a feeling I won't be able to walk tomorrow. Hey, welcome back guys Welcome back. I was also just so anxious. So I was very self-conscious I guess this is technically episode one of the travel series. I don't think I'm gonna name it that but like yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is honestly such a fucking adventure. Let me know what you guys think. I just want to thank you guys for coming with me on this trip. Like genuinely, I just felt like you guys were with me. I constantly post on my like TikTok as well and my Instagram. So you guys will always like leave me suggestions. Like, you should go here, you should go there, you should do that. I love you guys for that. You guys are so fucking real. I love you guys. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this week's vlog. I will see you guys all very, very soon. And I hope you guys have an amazing, amazing rest of your week. I love you. Bye bye. Love you.